And good morning. It's about 5.30 and a little tired this morning since we stayed out working. We got back about nine o'clock last night, so a little slow moving this morning, but uh, Holly and I are going to go do a couple small gravel jobs this morning. I don't know why we could just do it next week, but uh, that's just the kind of guy I am. I like to get done. So I'm gonna start this equipment up and get ready. Holly's coming in around eight, so by then I should have shit ready to go. I still gotta go haul one more load of clean stone and move the skid loader and a bunch of shit to get ready, so see if the skid loader wants to start this morning. Oh yeah. They always start. So I got the dump truck and the skid loader going. I gotta hook up the trailer. I gotta load the truck with clean stone. I gotta go dump that load of clean stone out of that wall job we just did. Gotta load up that skid loader. Gotta get the roller ready for Holly. Just a cluster not too bad. So the mowing crew yesterday called me and said that uh, their truck doesn't have any heat. So this is an 08 Chevy 2500. It's got a Duramax in it. Never really had any uh, issues like this with this truck before. So I'm assuming it's something with the blower fan or a fuse or something but uh last night when we got back around nine o'clock i asked chris and he was happy to come in and work on this so sometime today he's gonna come in kind of sounds like he knows what he's doing he's only been working for me for a couple weeks but uh sounds like he's pretty familiar with the automotive repair background so that's an awesome asset to have here at Pagel Services because well really all the guys here kind of have a mechanical background or know how to fix some shit so that is very nice to have so it looks like So yeah, right now all we got is one truck with a plow on it, the salter. The salter's still full of salt. I don't like that. We probably need to empty that damn thing this weekend, get that cleaned out. I know the girls are in the office. It's the end of the month, so we got a bunch of billing to do, which I think I gotta work Saturday morning, do some of that billing. And then Sunday I need to come out and organize this disaster so that when the guys come in next week they know exactly where they're going we've got all our work orders planned out this is a mess so getting here I unhooked my trailer now we're gonna dump this clean stone Just one more load of clean stone will finish this job so kind of wanted to get it done today I don't like around And again, sure wish I had my quad axle. That would have been half the damn trips out here. I don't know what's going on with that. The dude better call me today with an update on that truck or I'm gonna start to get pissy here. So, Joey's running a business. So we better start this baby up. 
Hopefully it starts. <laughs> Bing, bing, bing. It says wait. I can't start it because it says wait. I must wait. I must wait. Ooh, look at that. We got 26 hours on her, boys. Time to trade her in. She's getting old. All right. Let this warm up for a minute. So I'll hook my dump truck back up. Somehow we got three, almost four pallets of block left over. I know when I order from them guys, they always give me like 10% more, but three and a half pallets off seems a bit, a bit excessive. Whatever, they'll return them. I got to take the pallets back there anyways. They charged me $30 per pallet. So if I bring back 10 pallets, that's 300 bucks. which obviously I wouldn't drive all the way down there to get 300 bucks, but if you're going there, might as well return the stupid pallets. Awful lot of chickens out here. I should give me a chicken. I just realized I'm gonna have to hook this up like four times today. Unhook, hook, Here's all the chickens. So here's a fun little tidbit. For any of you guys that run equipment, you know what I'm gonna show you. The other day when Hunter came out here, I said, do not move any of that equipment until you clean the tracks out. We do not leave tracks like that, especially when it's below freezing in the morning. So you get all that clay and mud in there, come out the next day and it's froze you're just asking for issues i told him to clean them out he cleaned the skid loader out i don't know why you wouldn't just clean those out as well i'm really trying really hard to train him to think like like an operator i mean if that's what he wants to be he wants to run equipment all day you can't be doing dumb shit like that so it looks like i'll have to clean all that out you know, that's real nice. Okay, the second I get to work, the absolute second I get to work, phone call. It drives me nuts. Hello. I gotta get a Bluetooth now so I can just be on the goddamn phone all day. Every single time I try to get some work done, every single time, my phone will blow up all day long. So I might as well just sit in my truck or sit in the office and just do nothing all day. I want to work. I This is the kind of stuff I enjoy. So maybe I need to hire a... Somebody needs to tell me how to 
change the controls on this thing so I can flick my bucket back. Just not being able to flick it back drives me absolutely nuts. I guess I could just call my dealer and he'd probably explain it to me, but yeah, you know, we ain't got time for that. I'm not making this perfect, I'm just getting the bulk majority of it done today. And then I can send two guys out here. I can send two guys out here Monday to finish behind the walls and uh, get the caps all on. This guy's kind of in a hurry. The excavator guy has all of his equipment here ready to do the rough grading on the yard. So, so they're kind of waiting on us. Which we aren't behind schedule. The, the guy that's getting the work done kind of uh, was complaining about our price. Wasn't complaining, but wasn't happy about our price to build these walls. So he had to basically think about it for two weeks and then call and try to haggle me down on price. So, but we got them done. Our 
ships out of the way.
let's roll. going to be an issue with this job and it's not the issue not the kind of issue you're thinking this guy likes to talk so he's already called the office two or three times and it's like a 20 minute phone call when it you know it could be a minute or two so uh, that's what they're there for to talk to people but when I get to the job I don't mind talking a little bit but this guy's this guy is one of those guys that just wants to talk and chat and I don't mean to be rude but you know I gave you a smoking deal on fixing your driveway and my time is money so I got to get a couple of these done today so I have a hard time with situations like this because I want to talk I want to be nice but at the same time like I got to get rolling so hopefully he can talk to Holly she can listen to it. Your man. I'm your man. He had a quad X 
it's a load truck bring a load of gravel and uh, I guess they got stuck they couldn't spread it out it was a nightmare which honestly when I was dumping this gravel my truck would barely hold the hill because it was so steep but uh, I can tell you right now 20 yards of gravel or 18 yards of gravel would have been way too much I mean I brought nine to ten yards and uh, you can see we're gonna have plenty of gravel here so. we get a lot of calls for stuff like this where uh, the bigger guys the bigger companies their trucks are just too big and uh, we got the tiny trucks that can get into slow low places backyard stuff like that so the good news is holly's here so this guy's gonna go talk to her <laughs> oh and she likes talking to people about as much as i do so <laughs>
probably the nicest guy in the world. He just likes to talk. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not bitching. I'm just telling you. I'm not that way. good so <laughs> oh man I was a little bit scared thought for sure I was gonna get told I'm doing something wrong always get to meet new people do these little kinds of jobs I don't mind this kind of stuff get it done right away so I better get on the roller before Holly tips it over looking a little sketchy all right six months to a year and I brought the guys Casey's Pizza to that job last night and I had three pieces of pepperoni pizza and I have just had the screaming shits since then I mean I got a fart but I'm kind of scared to I don't know I don't really got time to be going home and changing my goddamn pants right now so thanks Casey's we're gonna leave you a five-star review for the Hershey Squirts today come out now it says in half a mile, turn right on Lincoln Road. Lincoln Road. It's not a very fun place for me to turn. So this is the intersection where my dad was killed on his motorcycle. About 11 years ago. He was going straight down this road and some old guy didn't stop. Came right out ran him over and that was it so yeah this intersection can be a little bit emotional at times so but 
uh, he was only 57 years old and uh, had just retired from working his whole life. So a little grumpy about that. I get a little angry when I see some elderly drivers that shouldn't be driving. It's the guy that ran him over. 100% should not have been driving. He was on oxygen and died like six months later from natural causes. So maybe don't drive. So, yep. Well, we're going to put that on the back burner and uh, keep working. Uh, well, we got a problem now. me. So this job's right on Main Street. There's like nowhere to park this rodeo. So we're just turning around now to see if I can manage to find somewhere to park. I don't know. Guess I should have looked at the GPS before I got here. Holly's gonna be all freaking out where to park too, so. I don't know. And it's a busy main street. God damn it. F***ing car every eight seconds. Maybe we'll just park on main street and put a cone out. It says no parking. But if we put a cone out, it means we can park there, right? Park on the next side street available, I guess. I don't know. Sure, we'll piss somebody off parking here. Whatever. All right, just got here. Another super easy one. So all they want is the top two, three inches of gravel cleaned off, hauled away, a few inches of gravel installed, compacted, super easy. Um, there's some clean stone here. There's some mud and dirt here. They had a wire trenched in. So just a little easy cleanup job. We'll get her done real quick here.
I should probably talk them into concrete. <laughs> That'd be my luck trying to dig this dirt out and then we'll hit a fiber line or something. And then this little money making job would turn into a disaster. I better quit digging. So this guy said he wanted clean stone down, but I talked him out of that. I said, I don't think you want clean stone, man. That's going to be like marbles. And he's like, oh yeah, I don't want the dusty gravel. Back to down, I mean, it shouldn't be dusty. I don't know. I really don't think you want clean stone. I feel like that'd be a mess. All right, a couple more scoops, and we will go dump this at the fill site and go get some nice fresh gravel. Some road gravel. That's what that guy said. He's like, I don't want that dusty, crappy road gravel. took 21 minutes. I wish you'd rake a little faster. It'd be nice if you could rake a little faster. You know, it is Friday. You should put a little more effort into it. Babe, it's fine. I'm going to spread it out with this skid loader. You don't have to spread it. So look at the picture Derek wants to use. Nice. 
I told Derek, I said, you better uh, ask Brandy and Holly because I don't think they're going to want the, those pictures on. Holly just looks angry like it's Monday morning. Somebody already made her mad. Better go get me a McDouble. Should have got that on camera. There's a handicapped guy on a scooter just driving down the lane of traffic here. Jesus Christ, why wouldn't he stay on the sidewalk? here on the big huge job guys Whew. I have to get a couple more guys over here and some more machines went and got the big load of gravel Holly went to get me a McDouble and her a McChicken spread this out make it nice call it a week What did happen to the last ten? I ran away with my life fast forward, never turned back again. It's kind of funny that the moment. All right, tell me that's not a sign. Look at this. Look at that sign. It says 926 small jobs. Oh, yeah, we'd be doing them small jobs. Come on. Come on, we need to set them rewind. And our team was to give our hands to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. I'm just as surprised as you. Is this really happening? I can't be too sure. But one day. Watch Holly. <laughs> Got some healthy food today, folks. Oh, yeah. That's greasy. That's real greasy. Look at her over there working hard. She won't even come eat her sandwich with me. Won't even eat lunch with me. I mean, on big jobs like this, you gotta take a break, you know. Can't even eat lunch with me. <laughs> Rude. Big job, baby, we gotta take a break. Fine. I got me a McDouble and fry. Chicken and a small fry. McChicken and a small fry. Everybody here at Pagel Services is all about eating healthy. So did you see I had a shot of Eric's cigarettes? This is in the last video, you must not have watched it yet. How much is a pack of Montego's compared to a pack of Marbs? Like $3, $4. Difference? Oh. Um, so a pack of Marbs is what? Nine, ten. Pack of Marbs is ten and Montego's are seven. <laughs> I feel like if I was a smoker, I would want the Marbs. I remember growing up as a kid and both my parents smoking marbs in the house. And I remember one time I was in the back of the truck and they were both smoking. That was the first time I've ever felt claustrophobic was trying to breathe with all the fucking marbs going. And 
But I guess that's probably why I'm 37 years old and I've never smoked a cigarette. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. You made me never smoke. Fun fact, I've also never drank. Most people don't believe me. But I have not drank. I do eat McDonald's. That's why I'm McFat. All right, let's get back to work. For me and Holly, it's about two o'clock. We just got done. We did those two little jobs. Uh, didn't really take very long, so nothing too exciting. But the little jobs got to be done too. So, if any of you know anybody that needs some rocks, I'm trying to get rid of these. These are all the leftovers from uh, the last few jobs we've done. I'm sick of looking at them. And they're too nice and too organized to go throw them in the dump so all right thanks for watching guys make sure to like and subscribe i'm out of here see ya